Hi, I'm going to share with you on how you're going to calculate the average turnaround time and average waiting time. So what I have something here is the Gantt chart that illustrates the uh, uh, first, uh, the I mean the shortest remaining time first. So uh, it doesn't matter that uh, you have uh, any uh, scheduling algorithm as long as you have a Gantt chart. So the calculation process is the same. All right, so I'm gonna have something like this, okay, with the formula here, all right? And, but I need a, a gun chart here, all right? So we know that the uh, turnaround time is actually equals to uh, completion time minus the arrival time, all right? So let's calculate the turnaround time for A. So I have A here, all right? It's equals to the completion time for A, so for this case, of course, it's going to be uh, 15 milliseconds, right? Although I have two parts here, but the real completion time is at 15. So I'm going to have 15 here, minus arrival time. All right, so let's check the uh, arrival time here is 0 milliseconds. Okay, so I get this, right? Now, same thing applies, I have uh, B. Okay, completion time for B, but this case is going to be 4 milliseconds. 4 minus my arrival time is 1. Right? So I got here, and we got C. Uh, completion time for C is 10 milliseconds, and my arrival time is 2 milliseconds. Okay, and D. I have the completion time, 6 milliseconds minus the arrival time at 2 milliseconds Alright, so how do I get here? 15 minus 0, I got 15 I got 3 I got 8 and I have 4 here So to get the average, it's very simple I just sum up here and I get the average of the four processes. So for this case, it's gonna be 18 plus 12, which is around uh, 30, right? Okay, and I divide by four. So here's I got my uh, turnaround time. Okay. Now, how do we get the waiting time, right? So. Waiting time, you can actually use the uh, formula of uh, start time minus the arrival time. Okay, but I'm more uh, I prefer to use this turnaround time minus burst time. Right, both of these formulas will be giving me the same result. Okay, but by using this formula, things will be simplified. Okay, so let's start to get the uh, waiting time for A. Alright, so what's my turnaround time for A? Since I already got it here, so I just move the data over, right? 15. Right from here, I got 15. I just place it here. And my burst time for A, okay, I check back the table here. Let's see, the table here is actually 6, right? 6 milliseconds for the burst time, right? I got 6 here. And uh, waiting time for B. Turnaround time is 3 here, right? I got it from here, 3 minus my burst time, 3. Let's see, I have 8 from here, and just transfer it here, minus my burst time, 4, and D, I have 4 minus the burst time, 2 milliseconds, All right? So I got here. So you can actually check back, you know, in a very quick manner. Uh, look at the, the the sequence: fifteen, three, eight, four. I should have here fifteen, three, eight, four, and the burst time six, three, four, two. I have here six, three, four, two. Okay, so I just get the results very quickly, All right? And I'll just get the average nine plus six here. I have fifteen, and divide by four, All right? Okay, thanks for watching.